This is Matt Spencer, FileMaker developer with Skeleton Key, and I wanted to make a quick video about using Google Chrome for iOS with FileMaker Go by leveraging Google Chrome's URL schema for iOS. What this is going to allow us to do is to make a round trip from FileMaker Go to Google Chrome and back to FileMaker Go using a URL. You might be thinking, why would I ever need this? The web viewer works just fine, and then I just stay in FileMaker Go. Well, when I first heard about this, I thought the same thing. But then I wondered, are there any websites that won't display in the web viewer, but will in Chrome? To find that answer, all I had to do was look at one of our internal sites. We have an internal wiki here at Skeleton Key that requires authorization to view. And when I tried to open it in a web viewer, I ran into trouble. Well, enough just talking. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I have here an iPad uh, that has both FileMaker Go and obviously Google Chrome installed on it. And first to show you, just I have a control web viewer just to show you that the web viewer is working. I am connected to the internet. So that just loads up to Google's homepage. Uh, I'd also like to just show you that I, I have uh, Chrome installed, but I have nothing open, no recently visited sites, anything like that. Just a stock, empty version of Google Chrome. So let's go back to FileMaker. Like I said, the web viewer is working but it doesn't work when trying to go to our wiki. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. This is trying to open our wiki. And as you can see, nothing happens. It just says loading web page. And I can sit here all day. I can sit here two days. Nothing's going to happen. I'm going to stop it so I can try to refresh it. We get our failed to open page. We refresh it. We still get an opening failure. Try to open it in Safari. Uh, nothing happens. I just get uh, taken back to FileMaker Go. Let's try it again, just to see if it was one-time thing. Let's try opening it in Safari. Same thing. Nothing happens. It just pushes me back to FileMaker Go. All right. So let's try going to it with Google Chrome. Oh, and there we are. So I'm going to enter my authentic authentication. I'm going to take this off screen. All right, I authenticated, we're loading, and we're loaded. And so as you can see, I wasn't able to open this in the web viewer, but I am able to open it in Google Chrome. Now, as you can see up in the top left uh, corner, I have this, this button that says FileMaker. And that's what's gonna take me back to FileMaker. And all this is being driven by one URL that I'm gonna show you in a minute. So let's go ahead and hit FileMaker. It takes us exactly where we were in FileMaker. Uh, nothing has happened, no no scripts have run. But that's the other good thing about this, is because we do send back a return URL in our overall Google Chrome URL, we can tell it to return with a script. So I just have a simple script that's going to uh, show a dialog box when we return. So let's do Chrome return with script. Uh, since I've already authenticated, I don't have to authenticate again. I'm back at the wiki, back at my personal page. We're gonna hit that button to go back to FileMaker, and as you see, we're gonna we're gonna have a dialog box pop up. Go back. We think, we think, we think, and hey, it was a successful return. We've successfully returned to Google Chrome, or excuse me, from Google Chrome to FileMaker Go. All right, so let's uh, show you what's going on under the hood. I'm gonna stop sharing my iPad. Get this over here. So this is the exact same layout that you were seeing before. Obviously, just to go through, I'll go through each one of these buttons. Our control web viewer is literally just opening a, a Google, the Google homepage. Then we have our, our web viewer trying to open the wiki page. And as you can see, it it's going to the same page as our Google Chrome URL went to. So now let's look at our first Chrome URL. Now this is the one that just returns us back to FileMaker, doesn't, uh, doesn't do anything on the return. So there's a, there's, there are different parts to this. So I'm going to break it down into its parts. The first part right here, Google Chrome, dash X, all this up through this X source equals. That's always going to be the same. That's saying we're going to call Google Chrome. When we call Google Chrome, 
We want to have something happen when we're done. That's the callback part. Now this x source equals, and then where it says FileMaker here, this is what sets the name of that button that we saw, uh, the FileMaker button that got us back into FileMaker Go. It doesn't have to say FileMaker. It doesn't have to say FMG. It can say the name of your application or the name of your company or back or return. And then this x success equals fmp colon slash slash, that's telling us what we want to do on our return. So in this case, we really just wanted to go back and open up FileMaker Go through the fmp colon slash slash URL. Now this last part is, is arguably one of the more important parts. It's the URL we want to go to, and I encoded that URL using FileMaker's get as URL encoded uh, function just to make sure that it was encoded correctly. So that is it. That's that's how to go from FileMaker Go to Google Chrome and come right back. And this, obviously, like I said, doesn't run anything when it comes back, but that's an easy enough uh, step as well. So let's go to our other button that we, we returned with a script. Same thing, Google Chrome dash X dash callback colon slash slash X dash callback dash URL open X source, all the same, just like the other one. In fact, this whole structure is obviously the same. Uh, then the FileMaker, same name. That's the name. Of, that's the label of the uh, of the of the button. And then what we have is our success. So in this case, same thing. I encoded it using FileMaker's get uh, built-in get as URL encoded uh, function, and just told it to run the script URL, which was simply all it has. Simply is our is our dialog box. And then we have our and URL, and then the URL we want to go to. And that's all you need. Now there are a couple of, of things to remember. If you don't have a source, if you don't have a label for that button, Google Chrome is just going to ignore it and you're not going to be able to do a callback. So you always have to make sure that you give your button a name. And you know, you want to make sure that you've encoded your URLs correctly, which is why I use FileMaker's built-in function. That way I don't have to worry about it. I let FileMaker worry about it. Uh, but you know that's that's all there is to it. There's there's not a whole lot of special uh, things to learn, and in the blog post below, I'm going to have the, the um, Google URL that explains this and kind of talks about it in a little bit more detail about what's going on. But that's it. That's all there is to it. And so this way, if you do have any solutions where you you know that that a website maybe won't open well in, in the web viewer, and you want to leverage Google Chrome, you can now have your users go from FileMaker Go to Google Chrome and back without having to worry about them leaving any apps and reopening them just seamlessly, naturally going back and forth. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Be on the lookout for more from us here at Skeleton Key, and thank you very much.